hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install mac os ventura on virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see i currently have manjaro linux and windows xp running on my virtualbox so in this video we're going to be installing mac os ventura which is the latest version on virtualbox now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox and to do that head to your chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. Now you can see the first page over here which heads to VirtualBox.org. Click on it. And then you can see by the left, click on Downloads. And it should open up this page. Now you can see VirtualBox for Windows, Mac OS, Linux and many other OS over here. So click on VirtualBox for Windows host and it should download. Already have VirtualBox installed so I'm not gonna download again. After downloading, you just have to install like every other software. If you find it difficult to install, then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox on your Windows PC. Now after downloading and installing VirtualBox, you also need to download Mac OS Ventura ISO file. The link to this file will be provided in the video description and you can download from there. The file size is about 14.6 GB, so make sure you use a stable internet connection. Now after installing VirtualBox, open it. Now we have to create a new virtual machine. So click on new over here. Let's call this machine Mac OS Ventura. Set the type to Mac OS X and then set the version to Mac OS X 64 bit. And then next. Now set the base memory which is your RAM. Now for this machine, I'm going to give it about 4.7 GB of RAM, which should be okay. Now you shouldn't give more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine, else it will slow down your host computer. So I have 16 GB RAM on my PC and I'm allocating about 4.7 GB, which should be okay. Same thing with the processor, you can see from 1 to 4 is okay. From 5 to 8 is not recommended, so I'm going to give it 3 processor cores. And then next, set the disk size, the hard disk size. I'm going to give it about 60 gigabytes. Now anything above 55 gigabytes should be okay. But I recommend you go on the higher side so you may be able to use a machine well. Now next and then finish. Now after creating a new virtual machine, we have to make few changes. So click on settings up here and then go to system. Here you can see the base memory which you can adjust whenever you want. Same with the processor. Now click on display and increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Also enable 3D acceleration down here. And next click on storage. Now you can see an empty disk icon over here, click on it. And then by the right click on this disk icon. And then click on choose a disk file. Now locate your download folder and select Mac OS Ventura ISO file which we downloaded earlier. Click on open. Click on ok. And you can see we've successfully added the ISO file. Now one next thing we need to do is change the USB settings. So we'll click on USB and then enable USB 3.0 else you won't be able to install Mac OS Ventura. Now head back to general tab and then copy your machine name. We're going to make use of this. So let's copy it and then click on OK. Now before we start the installation, we have to let Mac OS installer know that this is an Apple based PC and not a Windows machine. So this is where this code comes in. Now we have to run this in command prompt else we won't be able to run Mac OS Ventura on our PC. So I'll provide these commands in the video description. It will also be available in our Discord server which the link will be provided in the video description as well. Now once you get these commands over here, we can select the name over here, VM name, Ctrl H and then replace VM name with your machine name. You can just manually do it or replace all. Okay, so you can see this is now Mac OS Ventura. Now after replacing the name, open command prompt on your PC. You can just search for CMD and then right click and run as administrator. Now the first command over here is to move into the part of VirtualBox. So let's paste the command, hit enter and then the second command. Now it is not supposed to show successful or any message like that. As long as it doesn't show up any error then you're good. If it shows up an error then maybe you did something wrong or maybe you entered the wrong machine name. So make sure you cross check and you shouldn't get any error. 
so you can see we've successfully entered all the commands here now if you're using an amd based cpu then you may have to enter additional commands the commands will also be provided in the discord server so if you're using an amd based cpu you have to enter that extra command so the installer can recognize your cpu as intel else you won't be able to install so let's close command prompt and then close our commands now we can start our machine and begin the installation so we'll click on start okay now select the language for installation and then continue now we have to first erase our disk before we install mac os so click on disk utility continue okay so if you look up here you can see a disk called vbox hard disk media select it and then you can see the size 66.05 gig which is the storage you are located now click on erase up here and let's call this mac os ventura click on erase and done now we can close this page and then click on install mac os continue click on continue now agree to the terms agree select your disk which we erased earlier now if you don't see your disk here that is because you didn't erase it when we used disk utility to erase it so make sure you erase your disk and it should be shown here continue and it should start installing now this may take about an hour or even more it all depends on your hardware and how much resources you are located but you have to wait patiently it will reboot severally while installing but you just have to be patient so let's wait And the process is completed. Now we can begin the customization according to our preference and we should be good to go. You can either go with the light mode or the dark mode but you can change these settings later after the complete setup. So let's continue with the light mode. And here we go. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.